Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Hello and welcome to the ah, TGIF edition of AutoLine Daily. Today we'll look at the top automakers in China, GM bringing the internet into its cars, and buying cars at Costco. Yeah, Costco. But now let's get to the news. Car sales are continuing to surge in the U.S. market. TrueCar is now forecasting that July sales will hit 1.44 million units, a gain of nearly 10% compared to a year ago. That translates to a SAR of 16.7 million units. And that could be due to all the money automakers are putting down on the hood of vehicles. Average incentive spending in July was about $2,700 per vehicle, which is a 7% increase from last year. Electric cars can pose a huge problem for pedestrians and especially blind people because they are so quiet. That's why NHTSA mandated that those types of vehicles must emit a sound at low speeds to warn people when they are approaching. But now some automakers are trying to get the agency to delay the rules because NHTSA won't finalize the regulations until next April. The Detroit News reports that the phase-in period was supposed to start in 2016, but automakers are worried that they won't have enough time to develop the sounds and instead want to wait to 2018 to implement the rules. Not all automakers must be worried though. Fiat has already, with the help of leader dogs, developed a sound for the 500e. You know, every once in a while, I'll read a press release of a new vehicle and say, wow, I can't wait to get behind the wheel of one of these babies, only to get to the end and realize it's not coming to North America. Well, Aston Martin is now teasing the new Lagonda sedan, which definitely falls into that category because it will only be offered in the Middle East. I know it's going to be ridiculously priced anyway, and I probably wouldn't get to drive one, but that does not take away from the fact that I still want to be get behind the wheel. You may remember that Aston Martin offered a Lagonda sedan in the past, but I think that car had a face only a mother could love. However, this new one appears to be pretty slick looking from the teaser image. Have you seen those GM ads in the US bragging about having 4G LTE in its cars? If you're not sure what that even means, let me break it down for you. Basically, GM is using OnStar to equip its cars and trucks with the internet so you can turn your vehicle into a traveling hotspot. GM's chief information officer, Phil Abram, says its customer research shows an overwhelming number of customers are interested in adding an internet package to the car. Every new car gets the internet free for the first three months, but after that, subscriptions will run from five to $50 a month. But is this something you'd pay for in your car? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. China is now the biggest car market in the world, but do you know who the biggest players are there? Here's a list of the top 10 automakers in China. Number one is Shanghai VW, followed by FAW VW. Even though Volkswagen is a joint venture with both companies, they are completely independent of each other. Shanghai VW only sells VWs, while FAW VW sells Audis and VWs. And they don't sell the same VWs, each has a different lineup of cars sold in different dealers. Third on the list is Shanghai GM, followed by Beijing Hyundai and Dongfeng Nissan. GM pops back into the top 10 with SAIC Wuling, but like VW, that operation is separate from Shanghai GM. Seventh on the list is Chang'an Ford, followed by Chang'an, the only domestic Chinese automaker to crack the top 10. Rounding out the list is Dongfeng Peugeot Citroën and Dongfeng Ueda Kia. Did you know you can buy a new car through Costco? And I'm willing to bet the bulk store is probably selling a heck of a lot more than you might ever expect. But we'll have more about that right after this short break. Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. Last year, Costco helped sell over 
450,000 cars in the U.S. Yeah, Costco. In the following clip from AutoLine this week, Jim Pruder from the Costco Auto Buying Program explains how the big box store is able to help move so many vehicles. We have 50 million people a month walk into a uh, walk into Costco and when they walk in they walk by a new car because we park new cars where we're allowed to by law some places you can't do that and um, walk by a new car so the impressions are huge and uh, they stand back oh, and a lot of people go I didn't know we, you could buy a car and so that's just one way we get to them the other way is CostcoAuto.com where you can go in um, and, and you're right, I mean, um, as far as uh, not knowing what they want, or, or we do it either way. If you know what you want, you can go on a website and target it exactly. If you're not real sure, you can configure a vehicle. So, you know, I know I need room for the kids. I know uh, I, I don't like driving a, 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 you know, a big SUV. And, and you kind of get an idea. Gas mileage is important, et cetera, et cetera. And then we come back on there and recommend what you might be interested in. And. Uh, then you can uh, take a pick. But most people have some sense about, you know, I saw that car and I really like it and I think I'm kind of interested in that. And so they go in and they configure a car or they, they put the information on. And then it says you want to contact a dealer. And if you do, um, absolutely no obligation is just to hit a button. That lead then goes to the closest uh, dealer, in this case, it would be a Chevy dealer, the closest participating Chevrolet dealer. And it goes into the fleet department. We work with fleet only. Uh, so that they're not the next walk in the, into the uh, showroom. So you're working with uh, with that end of the business. And they have been trained by boots on the ground people from Costco. I mean, the dealer, the uh, uh, fleet fleet manager has and their personnel, or the uh, the web person, the online person that they have in almost every dealership now. And uh, the dealer has agreed that they will contact, get back to the Costco member within 24 hours. Um, but quite honestly, we, we, the dealer closes uh, about 42% of the leads that we send them, when, and it's huge. I mean, no other place, nobody has that kind of a close ratio. Also joining John for that program is Larry Dominique from Automotive Lease Guide and True Car, and Scott LaRich from Lou LaRich Chevrolet. This is a great discussion about the many different ways customers are now buying new and used cars. And you can watch that entire episode right now on our website, autoline.tv. But that's the end of this show. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.